Hello, it's Sarah, and I am zened out, guys. I'm gluing my zen, I guess, right? My mosaic that I uh, created with all the zen type tiles. Um, I just, I've done this plenty of times before um, on video, so I just didn't want to make it so long. I've already glued, I just have this much to go. So I figured I'd turn on the camera and I'll show you what it looks like. And then I'm just going to have to fill in some areas with probably like jewelry, binding, some ball chain type stuff like that. I do have little pieces of clay with um, gold leafing that I, I have already cut to fit in a lot of the places. But I'm not sure I'm going to go with that because I painted the background gold. So, and then as you glue, you notice that your gaps get a little bit bigger. So, it's just a process. So, as I glue, I, because I purposely, I like the look of having kind of like, my dogs are freaking out. They're playing. Stop, guys. Stop. Oh, my gosh. Can't be too zen when you have dogs going crazy. Um, they're playing though. They're fine. Anywho, I like my the grout line, so to speak, to be even as as even as possible. So as you're gluing, you'll find that like things move, or you know I move them into place in such a way that I have a, a nice an even space between the tiles. Oh my gosh. I wish they'd just calm down. It's not Zen one. And this one I might not glue on here. I really like it. It's my the dimensional little kind of like I call them a Buddha face. But I don't know if I'll glue that because I have no other dimensional tiles on here. So I'm not sure that it really um, looks right, but I'm gonna I'll play around with that. Oh boy. I know. I know you're getting crazy. Oh boy. So I just take each tile one by one. I put a little bit of glue on the back of the tile and a little bit on the substrate and just wiggle it into position. The piece is upside down at the moment because um, I turn it so that I can be kind of on top of it as I glue um, so that I can judge that distance like I said so I'm using weld bond glue and it's just a white glue and it dries clear I'm on my last bit of it so I just kind of dump the bottle over and um, dumped it out onto a piece of deli paper you don't really need a ton. You know what's funny? I don't know if this is going to end up being upside down because I don't read Japanese or Chinese. <clears throat> so hopefully no one will be offended, but it's for me, so I don't think that's going to happen. I know. Oh boy. You get a little bit of wiggle room, literally wiggle room, um, meaning that the glue isn't going to dry instantly. It's not going to stick. You can, you can kind of move your tiles if you need to um, to create a little bit of room. See, Kirby comes and hides. Oh, Jesus. Kirby comes and hides under my desk. My dog Kirby is only 10, 11 pounds, and Ginny's like 44 pounds. So she gets overwhelmed, and she actually peed on my floor today, which I did not. Yeah, thanks, James. I'm on. I'm making a video. Take Jen down with you for a few. They're just playing, but it gets cray cray. Um, I think Kirby got a little. Jenny, she's very gentle. She's a poodle. 
and she's very gentle but um, you know when you're 11 pounds it doesn't matter if you're gentle I guess you can get overwhelmed so I'm gonna push this even though I'm just gonna push it up against that tile because there's still a nice gap here that's just how I do it that's how this is my process everyone has their own way of doing things and that was that's why I love it when you guys post your videos please on my Facebook channel you can go and you can not channel Facebook page you can go and find visitor posts on there and post yours because I love to see you know what I and I can't think of her name and I subscribe to her and I'm pretty sure she's one of my subscribers too she had she was just making some polymer clay tiles and so like on one of her tiles she cut out a heart so it was just a heart cut out like from a cookie cutter um, on one of her tiles and I thought well I haven't done that yet like I, I can't explain it but I mean that explains it but it's I guess you have to see it but anyway there's still so many things that I don't think of that you guys think of that is just amazing and I love to see what you guys do like Sherry I told you she's she does she's been making tiles with stickers which I have not done yet um, and I'm sure there's um, lots of things that I haven't done yet with polymer clay it's a very forgiving medium uh, see I'm down to the bottom of the barrel um, so I only have a few. I have this bliss and I'm going to leave him off and I'm going to turn it around and then we'll, I'll show you what I, where I'm at. And I'm, I'll show you how I fill in the gaps. I generally will use, um, what's it called? Glossy Accents as my glue for the, um, jewelry findings that I just fill the grout, the little grout cracks with. See, I'm t as I go, I like to take a toothpick as well and kind of just take out the bulky, the glue, because it'll leave like a, a, um, a little mark. It's not a big deal. It definitely dries clear, so I'm just being overly clean, overly neat. All right, and all right, let me flip it around. I don't think there's anything else I need to glue. I'm going to put a mirror in here. So I'm going to use the piece of wood that came with it. Uh-oh, where does this go? Right here, I didn't glue this yet. Oh, I didn't glue these two. I don't like, see, I skipped over them because I wasn't sure I liked the fit, but I do like the fit. I just, I kind of decided that as I, uh, I knew I liked it, but I just didn't glue them down. Sometimes I'll wait. If it's not, or I'll cut things and I'll switch things around. I don't, like over here, I definitely moved these. Like I flipped them and stuff. So because they're in the same size space, you can generally flip it around and get them to um, fit. And it just was a matter of this and this were on the same side. So I just wanted to put that on the other side. I don't know why. And I could have actually moved that over and left a little line here or here so I, I favored it on this side like that's the little things that um, you can tweak as you're gluing you know before you glue it down just make sure you're really happy with your placement and see like if I move this over and give it all this whole side even spacing between this these tiles then this side will be where I could fit a little piece of jewelry. But I don't know. I prefer to have this side even and then fill this side. Like I might use, um, they're called micro beads this time. I'm not positive. Like right here, I can totally fit something right down this whole thing. So I'm going to put something right there. So that's why I made sure this piece tile was over 
like I didn't push it over there and leave space over here. I mean, it's just, I don't know, that's how I've gotten used to doing it. So now, let me look at this. I don't have anything that will fit in there at the moment. I would have to make something specifically. I think I'm going to put it because I like how it's in the center. Well, it's definitely close to the center, if not, yeah, it's a little right, right of center, but I'm going to put it. And that's just a pref personal choice you'll have to make when you're designing. You'll come across those design um, composition, I guess it would be, composition questions that you'll raise for yourself and be like, hmm, I don't know if I just blew it, but it is what it is. It's done now. And I just give it a little bit of pressure and then everything's stuck. Now I'm going to just stick this uh, in water. I have my water bucket right here. And cover this up because I'm sure there's still tons of glue in here. I just would have to um, cut the bottle open. All right, so now, see, I have all these little pieces, and they're actually gold. So I don't think I'm going to use them. I think it would look fine, but I feel like I want to add something else. So I have this bag of chain. I don't know where my other, all my ball chain and stuff that I, because I've used bling chain. I have to find it, so I'm going to probably have to come back but I knew I saw some ball chain in here but this isn't this isn't it this isn't what I normally use like this ball chain does not look shiny this is not what I'm thinking so I'm gonna have to go away and I don't know why it's not where I wanted it or where I would know right where it is I also have to paint the other side so I think I'm gonna paint the other side black I'm also going to um, cut my mirror to fit in here, and I have little uh, this little stuff that I took out, the screws and the thing that holds the mirror in. So I'll do all that, but I'll be back, and I'm going to find the jewelry findings, and I'll glue them in. But it's looking pretty good. I like it. I'll go through and show you in detail after I get it all glued, but I'll be back. All right, thank goodness. I could not find this stuff, but anywho, I did. Um, I have my micro beads, and I'm thinking I have this bling chain I love, but I also have this big ball chain. That's kind of off color. I love bling chain. I have it in a lot of different colors. Green, black, white. This green is gorgeous, but I don't know if that's very zen, but why not, right? It shows up. Um, the white, this is pretty big too, just the clear. The black is a little bit of a smaller gauge. Um, the red, I have a tiny little gauge ball chain a bigger gauge and then the big gauge um what else i don't know maybe i'll use micro beads i have to decide that's the problem see this is nice and big it's a little too big for there maybe the black i have plenty of it it would fit there really well this is kind of wide I have the clear I think the clear would look super good then let's look at the ball chain this ball chain is not thick enough it would go down here which I really do love but it is gold I don't know why, but oh, I have some silver. This is like the Tim Holtz ball chain, or well, there's a bunch of different colors. Let's see, I might have ordered this um, 
when I was making jewelry too. So I have this big piece of silver. This is nice and shiny. But that's like an 18 inch necklace, I can tell. I have green, red. I have this like bronze. This is the Tim Holtz one. But it's not like huge. I really like this gauge is the nice gauge right here. Um, all right, I gotta go off camera and decide. Okay, I decided to fill these bigger ones, just these two, with clay and um, gold leafing. And I'm just, because I put the other glue away, I'm just using glossy accents. It'll work just fine. And again, I'm just getting out any extra. But I have those two, so that's good. I like to always do things at least to keep it balanced. But I do want some bling on here. Oh, there's, and this, this, this little piece. Because um, beads hanging off this edge here would be kind of awkward. So I'm just going to put that there. I have this big place right here. I think I like the black a lot, but I think it's too narrow. I think that could look cool because then there's this big place right here, but the ball chain could look good too. So, um, kind of tempted to do that. And then a thinner gold ball chain. It's definitely more higher polished, more highly polished. But I think I'm tempted to do that. And then something big right here. Um, something big right here. And if I do use the bling chain, I need it to be like in a couple places. But this kind of looks good. I think I'm going to go with this. I like this bead chain right here. And I just cut it with my um, tonic scissors. And then this is really wide. Maybe I'll do the bling because I have a lot of bling on the tiles. I like this. I think the clear is good. And I'll do it here too. And then ball chain there. maybe like there's a piece here I think maybe the ball chain could go there too nicely mm. up here these are like a little bit magnetic I think I don't know right there and right here I think they are magnetic look yeah they are um and I think that's it let me just glue these in and then we'll take a look so all I do is a nice bead of this is called I'll show you the bottle everyone has glossy accents and let it it will dry clear but I want it to I'm gonna make sure it's straight and it's touching the bottom hi curb And this is just my personal preference, right? That I make it all straight and everything. It's just because my eye, like, I mean, that's a little wonky, but you could actually push it up against one side. 
to make sure it's straight but because I want to keep that spacing even so the same thing with the ball chain we're getting pizza it's Sunday night and it didn't rain oops now this is a little more tricky because it's round I think I'm going to add a little more at a couple of sections just make sure it's got something to hold on to but see now my fingers getting sticky and just if I it'll stick to me I'm going to use a toothpick see how it kind of came over this side I want to keep it in the center that looks better and then there's a little piece right here oh, now my toothpick has stickiness on it it's stickiness alright so this is glossy accents it's by Ranger Acid free, non toxic, but it's a clear dimensional medium, really, but it's also a glue. Um, and it dries clear. It's pretty strong, too, especially for this type of gluing, like for jewelry and things. Um, here's a piece up here. You can get bubbles in it. And usually when I open it, I have to stick a little needle in the tip to get it clear, the nozzle clear, uh, uh, to get the nozzle, come on, sticky fingers. Anywho, um, it's been threatening to rain, but it hasn't rained, so that's good. Um... But it wasn't like a beach day or a pool day, for sure. Oh, man. I guess I need more. I'm just going to flood it because it'll dry clear. And it, it actually, it just like sinks to the bottom type thing. You know what I mean? Like the liquid goes down. So that's good. And then this one. I just like it to move around so this is I mean it's whatever but those were big spaces so I'm glad that's like that I like that but I just like I'm glad the ball chain is like one two and then there's a little space there but I'm not gonna and there's like a big space right there I'll probably cut off one of the the blings and put that over there but I'll show you in comparison to the one that I based this one off of that was inspired, that inspired this one. Um, let me just look. See, there's like a nice big space right here. <sighs> Over here. I think I'm going to put a couple of these. Maybe even one, but I think two could fit. Nope. Two is too big. I think one is not big enough, but I have a smaller gauge. It's just not, um, this is like Aurora, Aurora Borealis on it. So maybe I'll just put one. I think one would look gorge. And using tweezers isn't a bad idea when you got sticky fingers and you want to make sure things are straight it's kind of floating in there but there you go as long as I tap it down and get it to now this is kind of gone over I'm not let's see I'm gonna put a little glue on this side seems like all the glue is just kind of over here this will make it stay in the middle better but it's already kind of over here, which that's fine. I'll just put more glue. And it'll go down to the bottom. It'll sink. Glossy Accents definitely takes a lot longer. Well, yeah, I mean a lot longer than 
the weld bond takes to dry so just be patient I'm gonna leave this to sit probably overnight and then tomorrow let me go back up I think I have all my holes filled I think I will um, cut the mirror and all that and then paint the back tomorrow um, and I'll show you how I do that why not I could put the camera on for that but I think it's done I have a good amount of tiles left I'll give you a quick look I oops I definitely I mean if it doesn't stay in the middle it's not the end of the world Sarah um, I used as many mandala stamp little tiles like so I have one two three four five six so this is this area here is a little light on the mandalas these little tiles I used but I also didn't want to use my biggest tiles because I wanted it to be to fit more I like when there's a like it's not just big tiles I like when it looks like you can see the grout lines like it is a mosaic right so for the most part you know I mean I use a lot of words I think let's see follow your bliss peace live your dream and I put it next to the dream catcher a quiet moment of reflection love which is kinda like a little it's that Philadelphia love statue thing peace with a jewelry finding love faith hope love and imagine up here so that was cool and then this says peace too so mainly peace and love um, what else so for the big tiles I went with I did use the Buddha but he's not my biggest Buddha because I have bigger ones that are square um, the elephant the dragonfly and butterfly and the heart and then I put flip-flops a dream catcher and that was basically it then the rest of them are kinda just like a feather and then shapes like different designs right like this paisley-ish I guess um, this one I tried not to duplicate too many I like that's again that's how I do everything it seems I like to have one of everything but yet keep it equal just based on like so there's a peace and a love so they're they're similar stamps but they're different words you know um, faith hope love and then live your dream so there are similar like three words follow your bliss and you know like I that's how I design a mosaic I like to keep it so that it flows so everything kinda works together I have three of these pieces these little um this was the cherry blossom stamp one two three of those um, and then these which were really cool these are kind of considered fillers but I did use them a lot like I you know so just a straight design this here this is just a leaf pattern um, here little pieces of it are here and there I tried to fit in that's a, just a big version of it and here so that's what it turned out like and I I really love it I think it's pretty up compared to this one I told you so this is what inspired it I'm pretty happy I mean because it shows my kind of my oh oh the other thing I added was a few black I only added a few there's a Buddha there isn't a black one down here just the piece the Hamsa hand and the Buddha so three I would have liked to add more of those but it just this frame didn't really have a lot of room so and then this one so there's four because I put this just has black clay in the background with a um, a jewelry finding in there so there isn't one down here which I could have probably swapped that out but I like the layout the way it turned out um, but that's what I try to do I try to keep it moving so if I have a black 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 there would I would have liked to have one over here maybe I could have cut this in half and put a little black one here you know 
but I like it. I think it turned out pretty good. And I know my light is kind of off, but I like it. I'm going to put a mirror in there. So that's like this one, but this one has um, a much bigger frame, a much bigger work area, and a much smaller, um, it's all dusty, a much smaller mirror section. This one has a bigger mirror section. And I didn't, I did use ball chain and I used beads and bead findings as fillers. There's ball chain, ball chain, um, and little pieces of tile that I would just cut. And then I definitely um, varnished this, I think, with just my, um, my painting varnish, like a regular varnish that I would use on a painted project. And it's not compatible with clay. So I ordered something and it's not here. It's shipping. It'll be shipping soon. I think it might even have come from China. I don't know. But I'm going to spray a couple things and first and see how that looks. And then I'm going to spray a lot of my tile projects with it. Because I haven't sealed hardly anything else um, other than that. Probably once I did that and saw the way it looked and didn't like it, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do that again. So I'm going to take the backing. I'm pretty sure this, this is the backing. It's called Just a Frame. So I'm going to take this downstairs and use it as my template and cut a piece of mirror because I have mirror that I use for mosaics and I will just mount that inside here and it, I just have the little, um, because it was like a picture frame so, but I'm going to mount a piece of mirror. I could actually glue it in but why not, I mean I'll just put it in and then if someone wants to put a picture in there at some point they could or I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it because I kind of am in love with it right now. Um, I'll probably hold on to it for a little while. But I love it and it's one of a kind guys so when you do this every little tile is a work, oh I love the flip flops too, I forgot about the flip flops. Using all the bling is so fun. So that's it. I hope you like it. And try making some um, tiles of your own. And I'm going to be doing, I want to work on this little, I bought this clear stamps with all the coffee. And I think I have other coffee stamps and stuff. So I might be making this for a little box like this. I'm going to make a coffee inspired um, one so maybe I'll do that whole thing too but I need to do August's August art journal page because it's already September and I never did August art journal page but I have a really good idea for it already so hopefully I'll get that in this week and then we can start thinking about September which I don't want to think about September because that means it's back to school and summer is over and I've really had a good summer I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I'll talk to you more about that when I um, work on the uh, art journal page. But I like this. I like it a lot. I'm glad I put this on too. I like my little Buddha head. I love it. Alright you guys. That's it. Thanks for watching.